Hi, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to explain how we can use the Motec Mini Power Hub. Uh, this is the with a back of 5 and 12 volts. This is version 3, so they have updated it. So let me open it. And interestingly enough, we have also a user manual. And uh, as you can see here, this quadcopter, so these big pieces you see here minus and plus though this is one esc minus plus this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one and here you can connect your battery here as plus minus so in reality uh, if i use my continuity tester all this positive are all connected for for the large one you see here positive 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 so the positive is all connected the same way all the negatives are connected so all the negatives are connected this board can handle up to 20 ampere per ESC so continuously of course in burst it can handle uh, more but it cannot handle 30 ampere continuously because the uh, path will melt so we have 12 volts here for your Tra video transmitter for whatever reason and 5 volts maybe for a camera if you have so this is for the 5 volts you can also connect uh, the your transmitter and your camera here which makes your life easy so let me explain that if you are using up to 3 cells then that is fine and if you need 12 volts so what you do is by soldering these parts you can select different voltage for example this part is for the VTX video takes let's say you want to connect your video transmitter here and this is for the camera and these are the control for this part so you you, you will make some soldering here for example if you're using up to three cells so you don't need any regulated voltage because this 12 here when it says 12 volts this 12 volts is regulated and then coming here so if you're using three cells you don't need your battery to go for regulation and come back in that case what you do is this is the wire so if i use continuity tester let's say for your video transmitter this plus is connected to this part you see so this is connected now if you're using three cells just connect vcc solder with this here this part same way for the camera this part this plus is connected here so if your camera needs 12 volts or three cell so what you do is you just solder this to vcc here this one to here okay so when you solder this together this VCC let me show you this positive is here you see this VCC and also if I connect it here this VCC so your positive is directly connected here so if you want the voltage to go directly to your camera just solder this piece uh, for the video transmitter and the same way for the camera solder this VCC to this then what you do is that you will get your camera the three wires from your camera so let's say you have uh, this tiny camera if you have that one then you connect your camera you connect the video signal here with a cam okay connect the black one to the negative and then the red wire from your camera to the positive so your camera signals come here so this cam connects to VTX so you see here so this facilitates the video signal to go and come here so this removes the cluttering of tying or whatever so so you are, you you enter the positive and negative this goes to your camera and this comes the video from camera here and the video gets out here back to your um, to your uh, video transmitter but if you're using let's say four cells or five cells or six cells then you need to and, and if you need 12 volts then connect this 12 here solder this piece together 
then this voltage will get 12 volts exact regardless of the 6 cell or 5 cell or 4 cell that you have and the same way for the camera here if you need uh, if, if the if the if you're using more than three cell just connect this 12 to this just solder it or if you just need 5 volts or 12 volt you can get it from there and these connections will supply 2 ampere continuously which and only for the video transmitter you might need it a little less than an ampere but the camera always use consumes very little so let me connect this to the power now so this is negative I'm just connecting it this is e, uh, an ESC uh, uh, a battery so I've connected this to the power now I'm putting my multimeter to voltage okay let's just let's measure some of the voltages here now now my input voltage so let's measure that So that is 12 volts. I'm getting 12 volts input. And here, uh, if I measure here the output, so all the ESCs will get 5 volts. So that's the same 12 volt is coming here without any change. But if you want to get the 5 volts, so that's 5 volts. The negative is because I put the polarity the other way. So that's 4.9 which is 5 volts and here the the 12 volts this is a regulated voltage and that's a problem because when 12 volts enters anywhere you see the voltage regulator the input and output of a regulator is always a little less there is a difference so 12 volts comes and we have 0 0.5 or some voltage drop in the regulation process and then out so this third volt works better if you're using more than three cells, four, five, six cells, then this will be perfect. If you're using three cells and you need 12 volts, you don't need that. Just go here and connect it to the uh, this VCC connected here, and then you will have directly the voltage here. So the same five volt that you saw here, if I put my negative here, and then five, you see here the five volts, you see the 5 volt is also here so the same 5 volt was here and this 12 volts that we were reading so if I put a negative here to make it life easy the same negative is connected by the way this negative is connected also here so that is supposed to be 12 volts so it's now 11.2 if I go here and measure at this port you see 11.2 volts and if I measure here at 12 where it says 11.2 so this 12 volt is connected. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video and please don't forget to subscribe if you want to get update about my upcoming videos.